Meet Diego. Affectionate and playful. But don't let those cute, cuddly looks fool you. Diego has a split personality. He hates poachers in general. Diego's stint ends this year. He'll be passing the baton to new recruits like Moscow. We train them to react on gunfire. So if someone shoots at us, the dog will automatically give us direction of where the shot is coming from. And other four-legged canines will be challenged to beat his record of four captures. Diego's striking skills are without equal. Here, Release he leads a team to a simulated trap. Stay on the floor! Once apprehended, watch him, watch him. there's no escape. Release! Poachers may outrun a law enforcer, but not a dog. Let alone the combination of Diego and Masca. With their track, sand and attack skills, they may just get poachers to reconsider. A calf and its mother were poached here last December. The mother was heavily pregnant at the time. Now a memorial erected, a grim reminder of the ceaseless fight ahead. Three years ago, rhino poaching was declared a national priority crime. Stifa convictions have also seemingly been a deterrent. We catch poachers in the field, we take those poachers to authorities, we hand those poachers into authority. The next day, we're catching the same people in the field. The, our laws in our country protect the poacher, not the animals. There has been mounting calls to regulate both the rhino and elephant trade. But animal rights groups insist this could lead to the extinction of both species in the next five decades. This initiative could go a long way in preserving the country's precious resource. You could say it's barking up the right tree. Mara Gaita Matabe, SABC News, Mahalisbek.